Hi, this is Peter, and this is the Nordic Solutions Fleet in Nha Trang Marina in 2017, uh, available for charter. And not long after they arrived, the, a fleet of racing yachts joined them on a floating pontoon situated in the bottom left-hand corner of that picture. A typhoon struck the fleet, and the result was that uh, all the yachts were damaged. Um, the Nordic Cat uh, 525 in the centre of the picture there, the catch was uh, sunk, and one of the racing yachts was sunk as well. Uh, this is before the pontoons and, uh, and piers have gone in, of course. Uh, since then, there's been another breakwater added behind this uh, photo was taken. And then the uh, fleet was repaired professionally by European tradespeople, um, but subsequently went into liquidation with debts owing to a company in the Czech Republic and subsequently put up for sale. They've been in storage in Camran Bay, which is about 40 kilometres south, for the last six years. And uh, there's none of them left for sale now except the hull of the sunken one. So they did manage to get in some sailing, and this is. Uh The hull is a SNS design, Sparkman and Stevens, and was formerly a swan from Finland uh, uh, hull. And Nordicat purchased the hull moulds off Swan, and Carl Gustafsson designed a centre cockpit deck and the interior for them. So. This is George, he's the, uh, the manager of the fleet. He's a civil engineer, or electrical engineer. And he's, uh, without his help, we never would have been able to save these vessels. So getting on board's a bit of a chore. As you can see, they're sadly in need of some tender loving care. struggle here with one camera in one hand. That's my excuse anyway. Now these these decks, this teak is virtually brand new, there's no wear and tear. And they'll come up with a with a clean power wash. Probably a light sand. Because the hulls have to be polished and all the stainless steel bright work. Hot, hot and cold shower there. Uh, this is the aft lazarette, which is storage for the offenders and mooring lines, deck chairs, spare sails. There's plenty of room there. There's a set of davits there for her. And that's actually a boarding ladder. It's designed to go off the pulpit because it's standard in the Baltic to moor off the bow on, whereas the Mediterranean is stern on. So there's two electric winches on each side, Harkin brand. It's a walk-through cockpit. And unusually the helm station is at the front of the cockpit, protected by the Dodger. So We'll start in the master ensuite, uh, stateroom, which is uh, beautifully fitted out, hand, hand fitted with teak from Burma or Thailand. It's all protected timbers these days, it's very hard to get now. 
There's plenty of light and opening port lights on each side. So there's a hanging cupboard here. I think I might be turning the light on, am I? Yeah, that's it. We have light. And this is a uh, Van Dicum makeup cupboard there. I'm sure we'll find that very handy. There's a utility cabinet here. There's, there's TV and uh, surround sound. Of course, there's a satellite system which is no longer in existence. They used to have a system in Europe where you could plug in at the marina, but it's completely gone now. More storage, other television. So you go down the companion way from the pilot house. On the starboard side there is uh, an office, come laundry. Uh, that's the table for the cockpit. I think that might be a. Not sure. Uh, they're the cushions for the cockpit. There's a seat. Fire extinguisher. Plenty of storage. Power. And entry to the insulated in entry door to the engine room. So that's the house bank batteries in, in those boxes there. There's an inverter and battery charger. There's a 135 horsepower naturally aspirated diesel engine. And uh, a Westerbeek generator, the red one in the distance. And on the right hand side, that's the battery bank for the engine. The two filters are diesel filters for the generator and main engine. That's the hot water cylinder. And there's more storage. Back in the main saloon dining. As you can see, 360 degree views around the pilot house. Which means you can navigate the vessel from inside safely at sea. So the steering system is hydraulic and these are 2010 vintage electronics, wind instruments, plotter, chart plotter, sound, engine monitoring, navigation lights monitoring, on off, power switches, DC and AC monitoring gauges. engine control. There's a two-way radio there that goes behind that. This is air, air conditioning control. You can see the vents in the back there and it's also ducted throughout the vessel. And that's the windscreen wiper. Engines if anybody's interested, little, little motors there their cute little covers on. This is, uh, we call it this the dinette. Um, once again, brand new. Doesn't look as if they've ever been used. There's no sign of any usage. This will clean up beautifully, polished up, and it'll look brand new. So this is the back of the steering station here where you've got your hydraulic pump for your internal steering and your 12 volt and 24 volt and 220 volt, 
240 volt switches light switches there there's a little bar fridge uh, down under the counter there that I didn't get in the picture this is in the galley now where we've got the microwave uh, there's another fridge freezer there gas stove oven that doesn't appear to have ever been used. Another fridge freezer there which is uh, a eutectic plate powered by a separate compressor. And this is a uh, fresh water gauges which enable you to switch between the three fresh water tanks. And monitor your usage. Twin strainless steel sinks. Um, it's a water filter there. Connects up to that little fresh water spout. It's a waste bin. And this is the master step. Steps on the queue. And there are other hatches around it and you can get it and rewire the dozen or so wires that come out of the mast. So this is the port for double cabin. It has its own sound system. Lighting. Power. Air conditioning. Storage. one of two en suites. This identical one is off the master stateroom. Separate shower and there's an acrylic door that closes off. And it's electric head. And into the four peak. Which, that's a mirror. So there's more storage. Normal power lights. And the hatches have a uh, a blackout screen from one side uh, and a fly screen from the other side. So that's about it. You can see her there. She needs a lot of work. I think we're up to it and hopefully we'll have her back to Australia this year. And this is a plan we managed to find, it's the only one we could find which is an accurate presentation of the layout. Thanks for watching.